Hi, friends. You gotta come up. Do we? Yeah, you gotta come up. Look, I think you gotta come up a little bit more. Yeah, Hi, yeah, friends. yeah. How we doing, friends? Just popping people. Hey, guys, so we are actually shooting on location, right? Uh, we are at the um, Girlfriends for Girlfriends uh, fundraiser. Uh, this is part of the rescue mission. Um, they do a great work in Miami, do amazing work in Miami with hopelessness, uh, with violence, with uh, families, with children, with everything. Uh, so shout out to them. Um, if you guys don't know, look them up. Volunteer, serve, donate, do something. So tonight we're on tonight. Today, how does hell? I can't even think straight. So obviously, guys, if the audio is bad, you know, we want to try to speak up because I don't know how bad you know, I can hear like the yeah. background noise. But basically, we're at like a little flea market type stuff. You know what I'm saying? We, we didn't bring the mics. We didn't bring nothing. So we're going to give it to you real raw. Yeah, we just kind of excited to like do it. Give you a little quick view. Um, so, you know, regardless of it, guys, um, you know, we're going to try our best to get in something today. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, at our level of professionalism or whatever. But um, we thought we'd just give it to you guys like this anyways. Um, so, all right. So, Chris said he had a topic. That yeah, you wanted to rip so, uh, through real quick. So uh, this that. topic is, is uh, it's not inspirational, it's practical, and it's um, not theoretical. Like, it's legit what I'm going through right now. It's seen through commitment. Uh, you know, we, we came to this fundraiser. The reason I came to this fundraiser, I kind of just brought George along. You know, I'm down. It's him saying, I got your back, right? So, um, what's to, you know, to make a difference? I have too much clo- clothes in my closet. Um, honestly, some of it is it's still intact, some are still brand new, and I don't wear it. I think some of them only worn once. And so um, I was thinking about donating it, and then I heard about this fundraiser flea market where uh, you know you can sell the clothes and then you can donate the profits off, right? So I decided to do that, and we're here in the middle of the sun. Obviously, um, I'm, I'm way too over my head. Like I didn't know what I was getting into. Like, everybody else has tents, everybody else has water, everybody else has everything. I'm over here in a black long sleeve shirt, suffocating. George is over here sweating like I'm, I don't know what. Uh, and so we've been here for two hours already. Uh, and um, and to, to top it off, God has a, like a great sense of um, of making humor. me laugh. I don't know, not even humor, just making me laugh. <laughs> because, uh, you know, when we're about to say, you know, 12 o'clock, we're caught it quits. Um, the person in charge of it says, Murillo, you know, because I volunteer with them and whatnot. He's like, oh, where's your table? You didn't get a table. I'm going to get you one. So now they brought us a table. So now that clothes is set out. We decided to record this. Just telling you guys that, uh, you know, sometimes you may be over your head with what you planned, what you expected, whether it is for you, for your plans of life, for your endeavors, or whether it is for what you do for other people. But it's those moments of tension, of struggle, that really expose, you know, what your heart really is. So if your heart's only about you, then when it gets difficult, and when it gets difficult, um, you'll quit. But if it's, your heart is really for to making a difference, to impacting people, to serving, then when it gets difficult is when you get to say, all right, I can crucify and kill my pride off and, and see this commitment through because it's not about me. And this is where I'm exposed to that. You know, I'm going to be sweating for another couple hours here because I got to see this commitment through. Like, I have every reason to go. I already did my two hours to make myself feel better. But this was never about making me feel better. It was about serving people. And so I don't know what you, what you uh, think about that. I, I, I like that you said that because it comes in with um, what we just recently posted. So our 49th video was really about you know exploring those curiosities and lately i've just been trying to blow up more things on on how how you could explore your you know that itch that you have you know those things and and that's that's really part of it you know a lot of us we have things that we want to do and you know whenever we get like the the guts i guess to start it we don't usually see it through the way we should you know what i mean we give up way too soon on a lot of things that like like i was saying before you know we run a race We're basically running a marathon with sheets in front Mm -hmm. of us, so we don't know where that finish line is at. So, you know, whenever you get into something, you have to be able to see it through. So, this is definitely, um, like you said, something that I just wanted to experience, you know, just just to kind of really live on that that, that I'm down mentality of, you know, whenever I've realized, whenever I've not wanted to do something, like, I'm like, nah, I'm not really trying to do that, but I end up doing it, I end up going or whatever. Mm -hmm. Something dope ends up happening, you know, some type of experience or something like that. So... Um, this is just um, this is just dope that honestly we've been signing up like he said for two hours and we were just about to leave at one point and now we just got a table and you know it's one of those okay let's just see it through and I like that he's actually like you know okay we're gonna see it through and, and this is just again I don't want to just be out here trying to quote unquote inspire because I feel like you know when we talk about inspiration it's something that you get a high off of for you know mm-hmm. a day or two yeah, yeah. But after that fades away, you're just back to your regular routine. And that's a problem that a lot of us have. 
that we don't see things through and we need to start being able to knuckle down and see things through you know what i mean and remember we're not some freaking celebrities or some fucking youtube famous people instagram famous people we're regular people who go to regular jobs work the nine to five life and just trying to figure it out just like the majority of you guys are too you get me so this is why i'm saying that this is um one of the best things at a relatable level because we're not doing nothing that's out of the ordinary you know i mean we're just saying yes to things that you probably wouldn't ordinarily do you know what i mean so i think that, that that's always the first step to like just look into that side of what is that you don't normally do and stop saying no so much and stop living the like that negative you know what i'm saying just start saying yes more you know start going towards that positive seeing what where life takes you because you know that's the one thing that we can't forget yes. is life mm -hmm. life it's not about your job it's not about what you do for a living it's about life what you do with life you get me so yeah that's, that's what i have to say about this so yeah far. and you know george always says uh tasting 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 you know a lot of tasting it's, it's just you stepping into a, a moment you know there's an opportunity as a moment there's a chance you know say yes maybe everything about you says you know this is crazy this is stupid this is nonsensical but uh, if there's something inside of you, a voice telling you, you know, maybe you should do it, take that step. Because maybe that tasting will not lead to something you enjoyed, but it will lead to a lesson that will make you a better person, or make you a more self-aware, more, uh, you know, I don't know, improved. Because the idea is, is growing.